As you can see, the chain link has disappeared and the model loads. Let's close our drawing. Save all. And now let's open the model. Select the part. Click Open. Let's expand Extrusion 1. Right-click and Edit Sketch 1. I'm going to increase the diameter to, say, 40 millimeters. Click OK. Save and Exit. Rebuild. Close. Save All. Now let's reopen the drawing. Select the drawing document. Click Open. Here's a warning from SolidWorks. The following sheets contain drawing views which are out of date with their external models, and it gives us the name of the drawing. Let's click OK. We can see here that our hole has a diameter dimension of 30 millimeters rather than 40 millimeters. Let's right click on Drawing View 1 and select Load Model. Yes to continue. And the diameter dimension of the drawing has automatically updated. There's another handy feature in SolidWorks that I'd like to talk about now. When you print a model that's out of date, SolidWorks lets you know that the detached drawing is out of sync. Of course, the detached drawing can be easily saved as a regular drawing. Let's go back to the Save As dialog window, Save As Type, Drawing, and let's change the name. I'm going to put R for regular. Click Save. Let's click Yes to continue. Rebuild. And as you see in the tree, our drawing icon doesn't have a broken chain link anymore. This concludes our video about creating and working with detached drawings.